Good day, everyone, and welcome to joint webinar with, with Adler Markets and Forex Street. My name is Nenad, and today I will uh, tell you uh, very good things about uh, my favorite uh, waves, favorite wave patterns and reversal patterns that I use very extensively in the market. So if you've been following my analysis uh, these days, you know that... Uh, Basically, I've been a bit of a contrarian trader. Uh, when uh, everyone went short in Euro dollar, well, yesterday we went long around 0,720, and you see that actually we got a nice profits from actually those reversal patterns, those patterns that we trade. So before we begin, I I will tell you that you should never ever have any bias in trading. The primary thing is that you want to trade what you see. You should not be interested in uh, any, um, you know, a lot of people will always say, okay, uh, Euro should be shorted there and there, but if there is no point, if there is no logic in shorting it, then you definitely should not do it, no matter what uh, majority is saying. Because of that majority, a lot of people, uh, a lot of traders tend usually to lose they're good setups. So my point is, as we say, there is an old adage in Australia also that uh, my friend uh, was and uh, was uh, was actually telling me about. It was like uh, it goes like always, always trust your own guns. So you should believe in yourself. You should believe in your analysis and trust in what you see, not what you think it might be. Okay. So the thing that I really like to do and like to analyze charts is wool waves and other additional reversal patterns, okay? So we will start with that as soon as we see a risk disclaimer that explains that Forex trading and CFDs are leveraged products and can result in losses that exceed your deposits. Uh, this video is not part of the .co.uk website, but the globalnews.com website, this information is used for educational purposes only okay and why will waves when to use reversal patterns rules we will cover that today in this webinar so first of all let me tell you that uh, wool waves is not elliott wave okay it's different from elliott wave uh wool waves is used for both uh, analysis in the markets and also for uh, a reaction. Because when you trade, guys, it's not the same as when you analyze the market. Before we actually uh, get into a trade, we need to analyze the market, right? But then when we do our analysis, we need to wait for the trigger, okay? My favorite trigger, of course, is the POC zone. The POC zone is the zone, it's, it's the, the abbreviation for, or it's a short of point of confluence. So it is the zone where we expect reaction. When I place a POC zone within my charts, you need to know that that is your entry zone. That is where you make your entries. So that is why my analysis is usually, I mean, it's, I, I think it is, uh, and also from the feedback that I received that is very clear and very transparent. So when the price gets within the pr proximity or in the POC zone itself, we pull the trigger. With wool waves, it's more or less the same. The only thing is with wool waves, we don't have any POC zone. But rather, we have the, the trend line that needs to be broken in order for us to pull the trigger. Okay, that is what I'm implying. With when whenever you see a trend line on wool wave, you need to align it with current ATR. That is how I do it. I always want to see a current ATR versus this trend line. That is what I will be showing you today. And wool wave analysis and wool wave trading can be very, very profitable. That is the form of breakout trading. So it, it, is, it is a complementary method to any existing system or 
uh, let's say, trading method. Uh, I don't care really when I'm in the market. I trade what I see. So I don't care about whether the euro dollar will go up and down, guys. My job is to provide the analysis and to give you the clear zone where you can make money, where you can make pips. Okay, that is what I do also. So whatever uh, Mr. Draghi is saying, whatever uh, those important Forex figures are saying, we, we can listen to it. We can draw our conclusions for other things. But we should trade what we see on the chart. Okay? That is why, why I always prefer that when technical levels are aligned with fundamental views. And when we see the alignment between technical and fundamental analysis, those trades are called no-brainer trades. Those trades are usually almost over 95% winning trades. So, wool waves simply tends to put the price into its equilibrium between so-called supply and demand. Well, traders call supply demand, let's say, support and resistance. But there is a bit logic, a bit of logic in that, guys. Whenever you want to sell the price, the price needs to be overbought. Whenever you want to buy, buy the price, the price needs to be oversold. So the, the basic principle on which wolf waves are based on is that the shape of wolf wave pattern actually flows the equilibrium of the price. We can see both bullish wool wave, bearish wool wave, but one thing is for sure, that is a naturally occurring pattern, okay, that was not invented, but actually it was discovered as one of the means to predict those levels of supply and demand, okay? So waves of supply and demand form their own equilibrium. It is a naturally occurring pattern and it exists on all time frames. It, the, the main thing is the symmetry of those five points, okay? Usually the most accurate wool wave patterns is where there is a nice symmetry between points one, three, and five, okay? And then there is also a time component that says that there should be a prox pro uh, proximal equal timing within the interv intervals between wolf wave cycles, okay? Wolf wave is a form of a breakout trading, okay? Usually, that form will be displayed on charts as a counter-trend trading. Because usually when price is getting high, you will see a bearish wool wave telling you and implying you that you can actually try to show the price should the, the trend line on wool wave is broken. Okay? It's also based on price formations. Because when you see a trend, a zigzag, it will be followed by a counter trend opportunity. Because as always, price, as I said, needs to be in the equilibrium. Without the equilibrium, without the equilibrium, the thing is that you cannot predict anything. You cannot see anything. The equilibrium is needed for us to trade. Because we either want to short or go long into the market. If the price only goes up or down, there is no equilibrium and we cannot trade it. I mean, that wouldn't be a logical. That uh, Every trend needs a retracement. Every single trend or mini trend needs a retracement. So that retracement is used to put the price into the equilibrium mode. Okay? So... When, when we should use wool waves, 
You can use it in intraday trading. You can use it for some medium-term setups. I personally prefer to use it uh, within the intraday trading. And occasionally, guys, you will see me providing a very valid wool wave analysis also to Forex Street. If you follow me on Forex Street, you know that you can read my analysis there and it will always be very clear giving you the exact levels where to enter the market and uh, where to uh, exit potentially the targets of course because of that wool waves are a great tool to use the breakout form of trading also i've noticed that wool waves are very valid to use within the concept of eod reversals it means end of day reversals so end of day reversals are used usually uh, within the principle of uh, profit taking so when the price actually uh, reach its peak or its bottom usually it will be followed up by a correction in the market and because of that that correction will usually see traders benefiting from some occasional end of day setups but of course uh, it wouldn't be uh, that good if it's only used by uh, by a single uh, confirmation let's say the, the the main confirmation is the break of one to three to three trend line that i will explain but uh, have in mind that it should also be confirmed with other tools Okay, I personally like to use ATR, okay, tops and bottoms, ATR pivot points that are based on average true range for the past 14 days on intraday M30 charts. But also, you need to see the overall picture, whether it's close to historical buyers and sellers, because historical versus now moment is one of the most important facts and mm, uh, parts of uh, Forex trading historical versus now mon moment perspective because of that it's uh, the strategy for vulva trading cannot be that easily automated because uh, not each wool wave is tradable you as a trader need to assess the validity of a wool wave by using uh, price action concepts such as let's say ATR and historical and now moment buyers and sellers and see if the price is indeed uh, will indeed respect uh, bull wave breakout and go in the breakout direction so bullish wool wave this is the rule for bullish wool wave how we actually chart it we usually start at the top okay so that is very important thing to to know we start at the top the point two is the top the point three is the bottom of the first decline so i will also explain this on a live chart okay uh, the point four is the top of the rally after point three okay the point five is the bottom up to point four and is likely to exceed the extended then we have a trend line of one to three so that will be the entry point for a ride to the EPA line. EPA line is profit taking or TP line, and it's short of estimated price at arrival. So it's a trend line of one to four at apex of extended line. And trend line of one to three and extended line of two to four. This might be a little bit confusing now, but uh, I will actually show you this on. Uh, on a live chart so let me open uh, okay this is uh, for example this is a uh, pound dollar uh, bearish wool wave so we usually start at uh, okay this is okay this is bullish we need to go with bullish wool wave okay those are points one two three four five point two is where we start so point two is the top point three is the bottom of the first decline Point one is the bottom pri prior to point two. That point three has surpassed. The point four is the top of the rally after point after uh, uh, point three. Okay. 
then the point 0.5 is the bottom after point 0.4 and it will likely exceed the extended trend line. The trend line that we put is 1 to 3. So this is a trend line, 1 to 3. This is the entry point for a ride to the estimated price of a level that is 1 to 4. So on four hour time frame, this might be the final target. But guys, you see here, this is where the breakout was exploited. And so far, the price went 500 pips into the wolf wave direction. Okay, this is a four hour time frame. So it's a bit of midterm trading, but you can also apply this to intraday charts. Now, for bearish wolf waves, guys, Okay, I will also get you the screen. Uh, you can use the screen uh, shot later. So this is an example of a bearish wool wave. We start at the bottom. The point two is a bottom. Now the point three is the top of the first bounce. Okay, point one is the top prior to point two that point three has surpassed. The point four is the bottom of the decline after point three and the point five is the top after point four and it's likely to break to the downside so we need to break one to three trend line okay this is one to three trend line at the break of one to three to uh, trend line the price will usually go to one to four estimated price of arrival you see here the price has broken to, through this trend line and it went 200 pips uh, in a profit. So this is the rules for a uh, bearish wool wave, okay? And uh, this is the rules for bullish wool wave. So you can actually snap uh, shot your uh, uh, chart. Uh, you can snapshot my uh, screen. Uh, and uh, use this as the rule but i mean there are some wool wave indicators free indicators over them on the market i don't know how they perform uh, you need to assess the validity of the indicator itself by using uh, these rules that i am uh, that i have been explaining here because the, these these are the rules for uh, wool wave charting also you need to know that uh, strict bull, wool waves have their 0.4 between 1 and 2. Uh, I personally not always use strict wool waves. So when you see that 0.4 is between 0.1 and 2, there is a strict bull wave. But when you see that 0.4 is not between 1 and 2, uh, we can maybe find the examples here, then it means that it's not a strict wool wave. So uh, you will find a lot of examples of strict bull waves, but very occasionally you will find that this point four, let's say that this point four is like this. It's not between. It is actually going uh, above point one and and two. So if the point four is above one and, po and one two points, it's not. It's not a strict bull wave. Uh, but usually the best bull waves are strict bull waves. So that is uh, what I what I want to see. Usually a strict wool wave that will follow my analysis. Usually seventy to eighty eighty percent of the time, uh, the analysis will be very very accurate, and that is more than enough to provide me and you if I give you the wool wave analysis uh, with good number of pips. So always follow my post and uh, try to learn from that. Uh, now, also, one of the patterns that I like to use personally is ABCD. It's a very good pattern. It's the basics for all harmonic patterns, guys. And I personally am a very, very fond of using ABCDs. Uh, ABCDs uh, are well known in Forex market and generally in those markets. Uh, ABCDs are uh, extensively used in... Uh, in uh, in uh, not just in analysis but also in other forms of uh, trading such as uh, stock markets uh, such as uh, equities indices 
So they are very valid. They are very strong. And uh, I personally really, really like uh, uh, ABCD patterns. The basic premise of ABCD pattern is that it is a retracement pattern. And a good thing is that it has a ratio uh, that can be easily identified if you use A to C or B to D uh, points. The ideal uh, ABCD pattern uh, usually will have 6 to 1 8 ratio between A and C and 1.272 ratio between B and D. How I usually do, guys, I'm not... Uh, really uh, bothered if uh, the ratio will be perfect from a to c if it's 61.8 or from b to d 1.272 i'm more interested to see that uh, the uh, that uh, uh, a to c ratio is close to 61.8 or higher than 61.8 and that b to d is close to 1.272 or higher than 1272 okay uh, the same goes for bearish abcd uh, the forms of ABCD, we have classic ABCD, okay? But we also have AB equals to CD pattern that is usually uh, most extensively used and it's mostly, uh, it's usually the most used ABCD pattern in Forex trading. We also have ABCD extension where CD equals to 127.2 or 618 that is longer than AB, but I don't use it that much. I mostly focus on classic ABCD and uh, where AB equals to CD. Uh, okay, so for uh, this, uh, I will actually uh, show you a real chart. Uh, there are a lot of uh, different indicators there. I have the own uh, method that, uh, of course, uh, uh, it will be uh, will be also live very soon. It is called PEM method, price section master method that incorporates uh, uh, most important uh, retracement patterns, uh, also master candlesticks. So we will leave that for other time. Uh, but it's also based on these very 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 strong patterns. And uh, here, if you take a look at these patterns, you will see that the ratios are clearly dis uh, displayed here, and that I uh, the, and I use the information for the indicator to actually assess the validity of the pattern itself. So judging from this ABCD, okay, this higher, bigger ABCD, I might say that A to C ratio is very correct and that A and that uh, B to D uh, exceeds 1.272. That is enough for me to say that this pattern is valid. So you can see that after this pattern has been formed, the price follow it perfectly. Also this pattern. So those patterns are very strong. It provide they provide us with a good insight where the next uh, uh, where the next uh, move might be. And ABCD is really really uh, one of my favorite re retracement patterns. Uh, you, you will find a lot of different examples on the chart. You see, this is A, B, C, D. Uh, this ratio is close to 61.8, so I can say it's good. B to D exceeds uh, 1.272. And actually, you can see uh, that uh, that uh, this is also a valid, uh, a valid A, B, C, D pattern. Uh, the thing is that uh, usually if you want to try it, that that you want to find that a b equals to c d okay it's it's done by time where time of a b equals to time of c d i personally didn't uh, watch it like that i usually measure the distance in pips from a b to c d and see if a b equals to c d but my primary my primary measurement is ratios between a b c d here you see it's also varied panel uh, here uh, this is where I would think twice because A to C equals only 0 0.50. So you see, it was not that good. Although it provided initially pips, I think I wouldn't use it simply because A to C is not close to 61.8. Uh, if you use the indicators for that, have in mind that uh, you should, as a trader, always assess the validity of the, of the parent itself uh, if the indicator displays these ratios in between. So that is very important. We also...
So you have a 5.0 pattern that I really like to use. 5.0 is a 6.3 retracement harmonic pattern, and it usually cues for big market movement. Uh, this is a bearish 5.0 pattern. This is bullish 5.0 pattern. Okay. At 5.0 uh, or 5.0, I call it 5.0 pattern. It's uh, it was one of the la later patterns to be discovered, and usually it's grouped in the category of retracement harmonic patterns. Uh, the big thing here with uh, these patterns uh, is that uh, 5 0 pattern usually precedes some of reversal patterns and you will see the the validity of 50 is usually very very high but still the validity should be checked with uh, uh within the these ratios here okay that are displayed on the chart and confirmation should be uh, always with uh, other price confluence tools such as let's say i use atr but you might use something different i always compare the validity of the pattern by atr and historical uh historical buyers and sellers uh here uh you see 50 and now we will try to find the 50 let's see if we have uh, here this is 50 pattern okay this is 50 this uh was uh, uh bearish 50 pattern okay it starts with point o then we have one a to B or how it's called X A B C D. Here it's one A to B and this is point three or point D. Uh, we are interested in these ratios. Okay, uh, if I see the ratio between one point thirteen and one point six one eight, I might uh, say that it's a uh, it's uh, the, the ratio is uh, is uh, uh, is very uh, valid. The ratio is perfect, but usually. Uh, the ratio what i'm mostly focused is is between uh between uh these two points it should be higher than uh, 0.50 okay between these last two points points b or d or points two and three okay so if the if that is higher than 0.50 usually it's valid pattern and see here it started to drop although you see although the price was dropping from this point this was a retracement pattern that just made us into a new wave of bearish trend. So, I mean, this was a very, very uh, valid analysis and uh, the pattern really I like to use and it will be used in my PAM method that I am, that I will probably release live in, in seven days and you will also see me trading it live uh, on, um, I will post videos on YouTube, of course. Here, uh, another uh, valid uh, pattern. The ratio between these two points is good. The ratio between uh, point uh, o, o and A is also good. A and B also has 8856. That is close to 886, my favorite number. And here, the perfect rejection from the top. Uh, so, 5 0 pattern one really of uh, a great great parents uh also we have three drive uh three drive uh, also it's used very extensively you probably uh, heard other traders use it i personally know that uh, mr dale pinkert uh, my friend and fellow trader a great guy and great trader is also fond of a three drive pattern and uh, if you if you visited his trading uh, rooms uh, you know that he was also trading three drives and i remember a couple of times uh, he actually used it for euro dollar trades it was very very good and uh, well i can say that uh, also uh, established traders and traders who are really uh, full-time traders they use three drives a lot i personally use three drives also being a price action professional trader and analyst i can confirm that all of these patterns that i have presented you with are very very strong and very very valid and if you know how to use it if you can assess the validity of it you should be uh, on a good way uh, to become a profitable trader but have in mind that spotting patterns is is not enough you need to have a profitable and good correct money management if you think about holy grail 
in forex trading rest assured that holy grail exists and it's called money management when you apply a good money management with a good method that is based on confirmed things such as the things that i've been talking you that i've been explaining uh, about then you will have 70 to 80 percent of chance that your month will end in profits okay so these are tools that should help you to become profitable three drives is similar to abcd it has three legs that are called drives the perfect ratio between these points is 618 and 272 and uh, you see that is a perfect three drive but occasionally we won't be seeing that perfect uh drive but rather we will have some forms of retracement such as this for me it's important then uh, the distance between the initial point and point a is the same as it is between a point and point b and that is very close to 61.8 or higher or here as you can see it should be higher than 272 uh it does not need to be that equal okay but it should be close or higher than 272 uh, this was uh, one of the patterns that i managed to grab it was not that ideal uh, the, the the ideal uh, distance was here between point o point a and point b but here you see it was not that ideal because of that uh, it was still good i mean the price still dropped 50 pips uh, but it can be also ideal uh, if you see th that uh, if you see those perfect ratios now obviously we would need a time to scan the markets uh, i will uh, wait to see if there are any questions and if there are questions, I will uh, reply. But have in mind that three drives uh, really needs to be assessed uh, from the, the validity of these retracement, retracement ratios. More, uh, uh, more uh, or less, you will be seeing uh, ABCDs and FIFOs uh, more than these uh, three drive patterns. But whenever you see a three drive pattern, assess the validity of it by uh, watching uh, these ratios between price points in between now uh, obviously this will use some time to scan into the market uh, but uh, well let's see we don't uh, have uh, the example here okay uh, okay now this is five oh actually yeah but it would it would definitely take some time for us to scan but have in mind whenever your indicator or if you do it manually if it spots a pattern like this just assess the points in between usually these will be uh, these will be displayed if your indicator is good if you have a coder to make the indicator for you uh, it's even better but have in mind that you need to assess the validity for me valid tree drive will be okay if it has 618 618 uh, or higher or very close if it's lesser than 618 it should be very close to 618 so the ratio should be the same also between tops like point one and two and two and three the ratio should be the same or a or higher than 1.272 if they're not the same you will see something like this but still you can confirm it with other tools so if this was a triple top the chance is that the price will initially reject at least it can give you a nice scalp into the market or a small intraday uh, one session trade that you can make 30 to 40 pips if you have any other questions guys uh, please go ahead and ask me uh, if not this webinar is being recorded uh, it will be also uploaded it, it's going live so if you have any anything to add uh, feel free to email me feel free to ask and i will gladly respond i don't see any questions now so thank you everyone for watching this remember these are great patterns Wool waves is something that you should be paying attention to. And if you are not a price action trader, if you still trade with some systems, with fancy indicators, think about price action because I'm assuring you price action is the king of trading.
Thank you for listening. I will be here with you soon. Cheers and trade safe.